Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 347. It's a high level problem and the accuracy is also on the lower side. So the problem name is maximum strictly increasing sales in a matrix. So given a one index M cross N integer matrix, you can select any cell in the matrix as your starting cell. Okay. Now from the starting cell, you can move to any other cell in the same row or column, but only if the value of the destination cell is strictly greater than the value of the current cell. You can repeat this process as many times as possible, moving from cell to cell until you can no longer make any moves. Now your task is to find the maximum number of cells that you can visit in the matrix by starting from some cell. Return an integer denoting maximum number of cells that can be visited. Okay. So you are given a matrix. You can choose any cell as your starting cell. Okay. And from a particular cell, you can move to any other cell in the same row or in the same column. Given the destination cell, cell where you are moving, the value in that cell should be strictly greater than the value that is in your current cell. Simple. And you have to tell what are the maximum number of cells that you can visit. Okay. For example, here, we start from here, one. Now we can move in the same row or in the same column. Remember, the cells uh, need not be adjacent. Any cell in the same row and any cell in the same column. Okay. So from one, I can move to three. Okay, now from this three, I cannot move anywhere, right? So two cells is what I can visit. Similarly, from one, I can move to four as well. Okay, and from four, I cannot move anywhere. So in short, two is the maximum number of cells that you can visit. Okay, if you look here, so if you start from any cell, right, you cannot move to any adjacent cell because all the values are equal. Hence, the number of cell visited is only one, uh, which is your starting point. Now here, just see, we start from minus nine. From minus nine, we can where can we go? We can go to here, here, meaning any cell in the same row or in the same column. So in the diagram, it says that from minus nine, we go to three. Great. Now from three, we cannot go to one, though it is in the same row, but the value is less. Okay. However, we can go to six. Great. Now from six, we can go to seven. Okay. So how many cells have visited? One, two, three, four. What are the other possibilities? So other possibilities are, for example, what happens if I start from one? So if I start from one, I can go to, I can go to five. Then I have to go to seven. So the number of cells visited is only three. Okay. So that means the maximum number of cells that you can visit is four. Okay. Simple stuff. And yeah, the constraints are that the number of cells that you can have is 10 raised to the power five and the dimension can at max be also 10 raised to power five. Okay. The values are between this. Okay. So now, just a second. Yep. Let me erase it. So just see from a particular cell, I can move to any cell in the same row or any cell in the same column. Okay. So just think if for a particular cell, like let's talk about this row. Okay. If I know that what are the, what is the maximum number of cells I can visit if I start from six. Okay. If I know this, that what is the maximum number of cells I can visit if I start from six, then I just have to come to this cell to find the remaining answer. What do I mean by this? The maximum number of cells that I can visit if I start from six is six and seven. So two cells. I stole two here. Okay. I stole two here. Now, if I have to calculate what is the maximum number of cells that I can visit from three, like if I start from three, so I can directly go from three to six and from six, I already know my answer. So it will be answer for six plus one, right? Similarly, minus nine. So from minus nine, I can go to three. I already know the answer for three. That is three cells I can visit from three. Okay. So from nine, if I go to three, what is my answer? One, one cell this and what is the answer for this? It is three. So my answer is four. Okay. I mean to say that for every cell, if somehow we find out what is the maximum number of cells that I can visit, considering that cell as the starting cell, then I can simply compute my answer. Right? Simple stuff. Now comes the question, which cell to choose first? Okay, which cell should I choose as the starting point? So now just see one thing, whatever is the largest value in your matrix, right? Whatever is the like here, it is seven, whatever is the largest value in your matrix for that, I know my answer for that. My answer will be one because from here I cannot visit anywhere. Okay. From here, I cannot go anywhere. And also the value need not be distinct. So seven can be present at multiple locations in my matrix. So what I'll do, I'll keep a track that, okay. The value seven is present at 
suppose multiple positions so what are those positions okay what are those positions now i do this now from 6 where should i go suppose there is a value 8 as well here okay where should i go so all i need to do is i need to see that which 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 movement will, will give me maximum benefit what do i mean by that i mean by that that what is the maximum value that i can have for this particular row okay for this particular row what is the maximum value i can have obviously i have to traverse the values in uh, decreasing order so for 7 i know my answer forget about 8 suppose there was some other value suppose this was 5 and this was 6 okay this was 6 so if this is value 5 then how do i know where should i move so simple 5 is present at this particular location okay now what you do you find out what is the maximum value for what is the maximum value for all the cells in this row what is the maximum number of cells that can be visited okay so i would have already calculated the answer for all the values greater than 5 right because i am traversing in reverse order like for example first i calculate the answer for 7 that will be 1 then i move to 6 okay so for 6 suppose answer is also 1 now if i want to calculate a 5 all i need to do is check how what is the maximum number of cells that can be visited by any cell in the same column or in the same row simple and you just update it okay you just update it let me take this example so 3 1 6 minus 9 5 7 you start with 7 this is your matrix okay this is your matrix answer for 6 uh, 7 is 1 okay now for 6 what is the answer i see initially all the values are 0 okay i start with 7 the answer is 1 okay now i come to 6 for 6 check all the cells in the same row and same column so the maximum value i get is 1 right all the cells in the same row and same column i get 1 so that means from here the ideal uh, movement is move from here to here so what will be my answer it will be 2 that means if i choose 6 as my starting position the the the, the maximum number of cells that i can visit is this one okay simple now what is the next value that is 5 right that is 5 now from 5 what could be my answer okay so what is the maximum value in the same row it is 1 what is the maximum value in the same column it is 0 so that means it is 2 right 1 plus 1 that is 2 so that means if you start from here you can only visit two cells okay now what is the next value it is 3 right now for 3 if i have to calculate the answer just see what is the maximum value in the same row it is 2 same column 0 so 2 plus 1 3 meaning if you start from here you can visit three cells one two and three now what is the next value that is one i'm i'm uh, picking up the values in decreasing order okay so it is one so how many cells can i visit from one so just see maximum of these okay maximum of these so what is maximum of these it is three right it is three so three plus one four three plus one four so four is your answer you can visit four cells okay what are those four cells those four cells are first cell second cell is three third cell is six fourth cell is seven so four is your answer okay and then last cell is sorry last cell is nine so what you do you start from nine what is the maximum value in the same row and same column okay so that is three three plus one four so four is your answer so among after i do all this what happens this matrix is giving me that for every cell what is the maximum number of cells that you can visit if you choose that as the starting point so 4 is the maximum value so 4 is your answer simple stuff this is the basic approach that we will follow now comes the question that for every cell we want to know na, what is the maximum value in my current row and current column for that we can take a couple of extra arrays that okay how many uh, sorry how many rows do i have i can take an array of m rows i can take an array of m and an array of n so this is basically rows this is basically columns so rows of i will store the maximum value present in that row right the maximum value the maximum number of steps that you can visit similarly column is column of i will store the maximum number of steps that you can uh, that maximum number of cells that you can, that you can visit if you choose that as the, as the starting point simple okay so let's see the implementation the logic is whatever i've told you the logic it's the same thing the number of rows i have the number of columns this is what value indices so for a particular value what are the positions where that particular value is present okay because we can have 
रिपीटेड नंबर्स राइट दिस इज अ सेट सेट इज बिकॉज आई विल बी टेकिंग यूनिक वैल्यूज राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ सेवन इज प्रेजेंट एट टू लोकेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टोर्ड दैट इन माई मैप दैट ओके सेवन इज प्रेजेंट एट दीज टू लोकेशन एंड रिमेंबर आई एम प्रोसेसिंग दी वैल्यूज इन डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो फर्स्ट आई पिक दी मैक्स वैल्यू ओके सो दैट इज आई हैेकन द सेट ओके दिस रो पार्ट्स एंड कॉलम पार्ट्स इज दैट फॉर रो नंबर आई वॉट इज द मैक्सिम वैल्यू राइट ऑफ दिस मेट्रिक्स बिकॉज एट एवरी पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट इट राइट सिमिलर फॉर कॉलम्स दिस इज अ टेम्पेरियबल टेम्पेरी आई शो यू आई एंड दिस इज माई आंसर वेरिएबल ओके now you traverse all the cells int value what is the current value and i have taken negation of that why i have taken negation is because suppose i have a value 7 so i am taking minus 7 okay you can you can have multiple ways to solve it now what i what i am doing here is i am storing the values in in negation form so that the maximum value becomes the negative value and i keep on uh, picking the values in order for example if you talk about this array so the values are 3 Minus one, six, minus nine, five, and seven. So I'll store minus seven. If you sort it, if you sort it, what do you get? Min. If you sort it, you get minus nine. This is plus one, right? You get minus nine. You get one, three, five, six, seven. Okay. So I I want to process seven first. Okay. So I've stored the negative value so that it comes first when I sort. Okay. So minus seven, minus six, minus five, minus three, minus one, and plus nine. that's the main logic you can do use any other logic as well that's not an issue okay so that's what i've done that value indices if if it contains the particular value then if it doesn't contain add an array list and add the current position add the current value in your set simple okay i've taken a tree set because tree set stores the value in sorted order so the the maximum value should come at the last and since i've taken the negative value it will come at the first position okay that's why so this tree sorry this hash map will have a particular value on all the corresponding indices all the corresponding positions and this set will basically have all the unique values okay great now let's come to the main processing part so yeah this is your set start picking up the value so the first value that i'll pick up is is the uh, most negative value right because i've negated the values so in in this case i have put minus 7 so minus 7 will come now what are the positions of that value okay these are the positions traverse all the position this is row this is column okay now the temporary array that you have taken you will be storing the answer there because you will be you first you find the answer and then only you will update the row and column right for example for the current row and column what is the answer so the answer is the maximum of that particular row okay the maximum number of cells that i can visit from that particular row the maximum number of cells that i can visit for from that particular column whatever is the max plus 1 okay i calculated for the current row and column right now once i do this for all the positions of the current value i go and i have to update the row and column as well you know for the next iteration for the next iteration because i have to update right if i've get a I, I, if i've got a more updated value i've got a uh, answer that is greater than the current answer i'll have to update the row and column so that's what i've done here again what is the position row dot path okay so update the current row if needed math dot max of whatever is the current value and temp of row column because of this row and column if you got a greater answer then you just update it similar for column okay exactly basic thing like in this case what i was doing as soon as you got suppose 3 so now when you got 3 you have to update this row and this column right that the maximum value is now 3 initially it was 2 now it is 3 so that is what we are doing here that is what we are doing here now once you have done it all you need to do is traverse all the cells and find the answer so in instead you can traverse all the cells or what you can do traverse all the rows and find the maximum of rows and columns okay so whatever is the max values of rows that is your answer sorry the max values of rows and columns find the maximum value and that is your answer okay in short since this is a good problem let me just reiterate what we have done here we have started with the maximum value and how do we get the maximum value we have put the uh, negative negated values in this set so the maximum value actually comes at the top now you start picking up uh, the maximum value the answer for that will be 1 and you keep a track of what is the maximum values for each row and for each column so that you you get the uh, you know maximum value in big o of one time right for example if you stand here how do you know that what is the maximum value in this row and this column so for that app they can do those couple of uh, arrays right now simple find the answer 
find the answer update the row and columns okay simple and then finally traverse all the rows and columns that means uh, this row and column right this row and column and then just find the maximum answer and return it right so yeah that's it for the solution uh, i think the the main uh, the main logic here was uh, what i would say what made this question really good was first thing is you have to move from one cell to another cell in the same row and same column so how do you optimally do that right you cannot keep on visiting like this you have to visit the cells in order which order in decreasing order because if you uh, move in random order you have to perform a dfs and probably your answer will get updated multiple times and, and a bunch of other things why not start the values in decreasing order okay uh, pick up the values in decreasing order so that these answers do not change okay these answers do not change and yes you can take the help of a couple of arrays to find the maximum values in row and column right so yeah that's it for this solution um, i hope you learned something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any issues uh, if you have any related to this problem mention that in the comment section i'll work on each one of them thank you take care bye bye